Oh, I am a university student currently studying a basic human anatomy course. I need some help understanding directional terms, specifically the difference between superior and proximal. Can you help me on that? Sure. In anatomy, superior and proximal are both directional terms, but they refer to different concepts. Superior refers to a position above or higher than another part of the body. Uh, for example, the head is superior to the neck, meaning the head is above the neck. Proximal refers to a position closer to the point of attachment or origin, usually in reference to the limbs. Uh, for example, the elbow is proximal to the wrist, meaning the elbow is closer to the shoulder, the point of attachment, than the wrist is. So while superior is about being higher on the body, proximal is about being closer to where a limb or structure begins. Does that help clarify things? Yes, so in this case and regarding the lower limb, it is more accurate to describe the leg as distal to the thigh rather than inferior to it. Exactly. Um, when describing the relationship between the leg and the thigh, it's more accurate to say that the leg is distal to the, to the thigh, meaning it is farther from the point of attachment, the hip. Using inferior would generally describe something being lower in position, but distal is the better term for describing relative positions along a limb. Okay, got it. Now, uh, could you test me on this concept by giving me two multiple choice questions, one at a time, please? Sure. Here's your first question. Which of the following is proximal to the knee? A, ankle, B, foot, C, toes. What's your answer? It's the thigh, C, thigh. Correct. The thigh is proximal to the knee because it's closer to the hip joint, which is the point of attachment. Ready for the second question? Sure. Great. Here's your second question. Which of the following is inferior to the heart? A, lungs, B, brain, C, stomach, D, throat. What's your answer? My answer is C, stomach. That's correct. The stomach is inferior to the heart because it is located below it in the body. You're doing great with these directional terms. Okay, thank you very much. You're very welcome. If you have any more questions as you study, feel free to ask. Good luck with your course.